Welcome, Geek Nation. There is a library of games that don't always get the love and attention they deserve. Each week, we will explore a new game to share with you the wonderful world of tabletop RPGs. I am your host, Lily Moon, and this is One Shot. This week on One Shot, we will be playing Kids on Bikes. It takes back you back to the era of the 80s and 90s, where you where there were movies like uh, E.T. and uh, Goodies. <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on, make that group roll. And um, <laughs> shows like uh, Stranger Things now. I'm sorry. I'm all doped up on uh, cough medicine. I'm all out of it. But we'll make it through tonight. Uh, start the game. I'm going to hand it over to our game master, Rob Duke. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> uh, I love the 80s. I don't know about you guys. I'm an 80s kid. I was Likewise. alive for a portion of it. <laughs> <laughs> High school class of 85 here, so. Yep. My sister was born in 85. So we'll go uh, around the uh, table here. We're still adjusting the cameras a little. Um, uh, go around and maybe introduce yourself, where they can find you online, uh, and what your favorite 80s movie is. Uh, go ahead with our guest, Chuck. Oh, uh, that's me. Uh, yeah, I'm DM Chuck. Uh, you can find me over the D, at the Defenders of Cobalt. We stream stuff and things sometimes. Uh, it's pretty great. Uh, favorite movie of the 80s. Um, you know, I was alive during the 80s, yes. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I couldn't tell you. Like, I know I have favorite movies from the 80s, but you know... I don't pay attention. 80s and 90s, it all <laughs> blurs together, right? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, Brandon. Sure. Um, I go by uh, Conradin, uh, but name's Brandon. Uh, 90s kid, so this will be exciting. Uh, won't know the 80s lingo, but... Uh, yeah, excited to play. Um, as for favorite movie, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Back to the Future, that's the 80s, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Let's go with that one then. Yes. All right, Gregory. Hi. Uh, well, I, as I said, I am uh, went to high school and college in the 80s. Um, so, and I've played this game uh, free RPG day last year, I believe, with you running it. So I'm really excited to play it again. Um, my favorite 80s movie um, is really too hard to narrow down, but I'm going to give some love to Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. <laughs> yep, it's a strange movie. It's uh, one of the things I love about it. Uh, also, Paul Weller is the king of the world. <clears throat> and Robocop. Yeah, and Verbica. and and whoever's idea it was to put uh, Jeff Goldblum in a cowboy out in an absurd cowboy outfit, mm -hmm. just um, des deserved an Oscar really for costuming. I, I think that he did costuming. Jeff Goldblum is he just takes every costume he's ever had out of his closet, especially with Guardians of the Galaxy. He just brought that. To, he just wore his Guardians of the Ga Galaxy outfit to work, and they're like, yes, that is what he's no, no, he wore his Tuesday outfit to Guardians of the Galaxy, and that was it. <laughs> he was right. like, oh, uh, was today the fitting? I just came in my bathroom. <laughs> and David? Yeah, uh, I am David. Uh, I am familiar to some of you for our Monday night uh, Heroes Incorporated game, uh, playing Guardian. Um, and I am a thorough 80s kid, born in 72, so I was, you know, eight when everything started up, and, oh, favorite 80s movies, um, 
Yeah, there's just one. so just many one. of them. Just one? Just one. Uh, it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> you got it's a show like, to it's do. Like, it's like asking what your favorite child is or oh, your favorite flavor of ice cream. I no, um, I will I will narrow it down to, though, the last Starfighter. You know, right. even though we had the cap of, you know, Re Return of the Jedi capping off the Star Wars saga, Last Starfighter was still fantastic. And, you know, even holds up today, just needs a little updating on the CGI. All right. And Lily. Um, I'm Lily. <laughs> I'm sick tonight, uh, but I'm here. Uh my favorite movie of the 80s see it i agree it's really hard to choose but i there's two that i watched a lot when i was little so i'll have to pick between those two it's really hard i'll go with willow willow is my favorite movie from the 80s okay the bad. other one was was the other the other one was beetlejuice <laughs> Both came out the same year. In mm -hmm. fact, the year that the that our uh, game is set, isn't that correct, Rob? That's correct. We watched those quite a lot. 1988. I think my favorite one. It, it go. I cycle through them. Currently, it's Goonies. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You got Raiders of the Lost Ark in there too. Ghostbusters. Heather's. Yeah. Is Goonies really the quintessential, the very first kids on bikes genre? No, I think that that um, ET came out first. Yeah, mm. ET yeah. came out before That's that. That's right. That's right. And even then, you had like Sigmund and the Sea Monsters on TV back in the late seventies, early eighties. So you know, kids interacting with something weird. Already you guys, sorry. Have you guys ever seen a movie called The Double MacGuffin? No. 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 Never that, heard of it. That's probably like the prototype 80s kids on bikes movie. Um, because, oh golly, it, it's, it's, very, it's very fuzzy in my memory because I haven't seen it in decades, literally. But it's a bunch of kids like who have a mystery dropped in their lap. Um, and The MacGuffin, as you know, is the thing yeah. that everybody wants in the movie and this one had two of them so mm -hmm. like the the kids and the bad guys were each after something different but they kept crossing each other's paths and leading to a very confusing thing they had one kid and i swear i was i was tempted to to, to crib this idea for this uh show but i didn't think it appropriate for the character who had a swiss army knife that was about this wide and it had absolute, <laughs> absolutely everything on it. I mean, if he needed a spatula because he was frying a hamburger, he could flip this thing out of his Swiss Army knife. Yeah. And um, one of uh, Lisa Welchel, uh, one of the cast of... We have um, run. <laughs> yeah. yeah was, in, was also in that movie. So uh, yeah. carry on. I need to find you a podcast to do. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> Monster Squad. That's another good one. It could be called "Geeking Out with Gregory." Yeah, there you go. Yeah, All that's right. my life. Yeah, geeking out with Gregory, and every week you can have a guest host, guest co-host to geek out with and talk about random geekiness. <laughs> I'm glad that my character is not very smart tonight. <laughs> oh, I guess we should probably go around. You know what? We'll introduce some end story. How about that? Um, okay. So it's end of summer. I changed it. Uh, 1988. Because somebody had to have a fancy, really bad camcorder. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you do. As you do. <laughs> um, yes. Geez, what came out? We discussed this earlier. What came out the end in the summertime? So the theater market uh, downtown Beetlejuice. shows Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Um, hang on a second. What's another family when it was out then? Uh, I don't Beetle know. Was... It could be a little hand wavy too. Die Hard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. 
Yes. Classic family film. Uh, Christmas okay. film. And we'll say Die Hard. That kind of ties back to when we started one shot this season when we played Shadows of the Century. Um, uh, the Blob. Big. Fish Called uh, Wanda. No, I'm uh, just going to go with Beetlejuice Mac and, and Die me. Hard. Not Mac, Mac and me. me. Mm-hmm. Pretty nope. nice. Nope. We're going to go. It's a double feature. <laughs> Two theaters only. Um, and it kind of the camera pans out. Um, there's like a pharmacy, a war, um, like a, there's Tony's Pizzeria, uh, next to Tony's there is, um, Hoosier mm-hmm. Video, because you gotta have What's pizza place next to your video place, and yeah. then next to that is your arcade, which is the Starlight Starbright. Okay. And I love it. It's, we'll say it's, uh, it's evening. And on the sidewalk, uh, with or without bikes, it's up to you. We will introduce your characters. So who do we see first? Oh, I'll go first. Uh, you know, wheeling my, you know, sh- uh, uh, mongoose uh, yeah. dirt bike. <laughs> That's right. Didn't want to go with the traditional Schwinn on that, but so, so Diamondbacks, um, I think, and BMX. Diamondback. Yep. Yeah. Um. So, uh, my character Alex, um, uh, young, about twelve years old, uh, dressed in um. A um, slightly faded uh, gray T-shirt that has the um, last Starfighter logo on it, and blue jeans. has a big has a big backpack, uh, and on the back of the pack there are various uh, uh, patches sewn in relating to uh, Boy Scouts. So, and he's just kind of headed down. Uh, not really look working towards the arcade. Okay. By yourself, you said? It can be by myself or it can be with uh, any of my other, uh, you know, usual suspects. Uh, I'll tag along on that. Sure, <laughs> why not? Yeah. Uh, I'll ride along on that BMX because, of course, uh, I uh, am Ted, uh, the fantastic wonderful kid that everyone loves and it's going to be the star football player one day um i got a uh, couple of pockets stuffed full of quarters that uh and you're headed for the arcade headed for that arcade <laughs> that's it uh i don't uh, don't have a fantastic description of what i'm wearing because uh I was like, man, what would be really cool for the popular kid to wear in the 80s? Oh, and I'm pretty the polo sure. shirt. Yeah, with the, uh, okay. Polo members, polo. There you go. members only jacket. That's okay, right. that's it. Uh, everything I was thinking of, like, I'm sure that's the 90s. So, uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, I no, got that uh, that pop collar shirt. That's what we got. <laughs> yep. Eyes on with the little alligator. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we be. It's so painfully good. <laughs> All right, so you two are uh, wheeling along. <coughs> um, I'm assuming... There's some echo there. I probably should stop that. Hold on. All right. Um, so you arrive at the arcade, and you see... Hawks. Yes, crouched down beside his uh, his Schwinn, nothing fancy, wearing a, a Devo t-shirt. Oh. Uh, the uh, Are We Not Men, Are, are We Devo with the guy yeah. in the golf hat. That, that, um, and he is currently crouched behind, crouched by the front wheel, flipping through a packet of Garbage Pail Kids trading cards and picking out one he already has to uh, clothes pin to the front uh, spokes so that it makes that 
the machine gun stuff. noise. Yep. Exactly. That's serious business. Mm -hmm. It is. And not too far behind him is his babysitter. Mm -hmm. I'm pretending she's not there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm pretending like you're not there, too. <laughs> Heather is like, just like, look at her nails and keeping kind of an eye on the kid she's supposed to be watching. She's paid later. Um, she is really pretty and she is a cheerleader. And she moved here about six months ago from LA. And she has like her hair all nice and teased up. And you know, it was like a ton of hairspray. She's probably part of the reason that we're holding the ozone. And like all the boys want to date her because she's just super pretty. I suppose, folks. She's just. Kind of keeping an eye on him, kind of not. Okay. So. And, um. Lastly, now you said that your family is still. They have money, right? Yeah. Okay. So the limo rolls up. <laughs> and the chauffeur opens the door. And let's your other friend out of the limo. <laughs> sure. Uh, out steps uh, Archie. Uh, he's the heir to the the Bavington fortune. Uh, they've you know made money probably doing lots of terrible terrible things. I'm sure they donate some charities here and there. But um, he's dressed uh, I don't know, 80s normal. Uh, <laughs> but he does have um, what you think of like a stereotypical explorer's hat on. Uh, and he comes with like a, uh, he has a bag kind of, uh, uh, like a gym bag or something that seems to have a lot of, uh, just stacked full with stuff, or stuff full, um, with all types of gadgets, and, uh, heads up to meet you guys. Okay. Do all of you have your backpacks? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Naturally. Alright. Yes. I'm sure how there's chewing gum and she blows a bubble and it like pops as, uh. Um, he comes up as Archie comes up and she just kind of is like whatever it's all these stupid kids here okay. hey Arch uh, Hawks okay, cool we got four for Gauntlet alright I did Valkyrie so let's head on in and you know claim our spot hey now. Heather we're gonna go inside and play alright <laughs> okay she's gonna go inside too and try to find a place to sit down and, and like read a magazine or something. Teeny Bop magazine. <laughs> she's gonna look at the new kids on the block. Nice. This Tiger Beat. Awesome. Yeah, it's Tiger. She's gonna look at it. She's gonna be like, I love those night puppets. I love Jordan Knight. Look at how handsome he is. Donnie's such a jailbird. <laughs> <laughs> so the Starlight Starbright Arcade um, doesn't have all the up-to-date machines, uh, but they do have the classics. A few, maybe on. one, <laughs> like one that's kind of pseudo new. It came out maybe two years ago, but it's new to them. Is, is there randomly a Olympus game? Yes. <laughs> it has like the no. knockoff, uh, the pirated versions of video games. No, it's legit stuff. It's just, yeah, they don't have the money to maintain to get all the new, the new cabinets. Yeah, like Gauntlet came out in '85, and it was still going strong in '88. And it's a new hotness at this place. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. Uh, you guys know this has been sort of a long summer. Um, Mainly because you know at the end of the summer, the gang's splitting up and going to, to different areas. Somebody's moving, um, and so you're kind of dreading the, towards the end of the summer. Um, so it's kind of the way you're just hanging out a few more times before you have to say your goodbyes. <clears throat> okay, so let's. Uh... 
get, you know, step up to the machine, pop some quarters in, choose characters, and we're going to, um, at least I'm going to chill out for a half hour or so. Is there a line for the gauntlet machine? Actually, yes. <laughs> I was about to quote it. The wizard needs food. Anyway. That's it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, as you go uh, up to the machine, and you, know, you hear, like, the, it's really, it's not, well, it's kind of loud. You hear the, the pinball machines go in. Um, you know, it sounds like slot machines. Um, a lot of bells, a lot of uh, voiceovers, badly voiceovers. Uh, but you go to the gauntlet machine, and to your dismay, Carl is there. With his uh, buddies, Ooh. and they're being kind of oh, aggressive. Man. Carl. Yeah. That jerk. Dude, let's go pay Pac Man. <laughs> yeah, Pac Man's only one player, though. So, I mean, maybe. They haven't noticed you yet. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm pulling people, you know, like um, Archie and. Um, Hawk, I'm trying to pull them back out of the way so they don't get spotted. Um, since they're usually the targets of, you know, the bullies along with me. It's like, ah, oh, jeez. Um, you guys want to just, like, hang around until they go? Or do we want to... Play air hockey? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. I mean, two tables. Or I guess... Yeah, you know, we could probably do four on a near off the table. Um, I pick. Um, let's see, it's me, uh, Archie, Hawk, and who's Ted. the Ted? Um, okay, me and Ted versus Archie and Hawk. You're on. Sounds you guys fair. are going down. <laughs> So you put the quarter in. The uh, choose, you your, the, choose your weapons. You can feel the the air come on through the holes, and your uh, discharge there and the paddles. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh man, you'll make you guys roll this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm down with that. All right. So who's again? I guess there's like two against two. Sure. Yeah. Okay, yep. who, who are teaming up? Me and uh, Ted versus uh, Archie and Hawk. Yeah. Okay. So, everybody roll flights to see who is the fastest. Flight? Yes. And on your sheet, there's a little D20 roll underneath each box. Yeah. And also, chat, um, I have... Ask them, everyone to give me rumors about the town and the surrounding woods. Um, I guess they didn't really say that. The town is actually Shady Hollow, Indiana. It is. David, the... you can roll again. Yeah, okay, so I roll again, same D, yeah. D4 plus yes, one? Okay. That's correct. Yes. It explodes. Yep. So I thought. Okay, so that turns into an eight. Okay. Uh huh. We'll like I that. rolled fight at first, so we'll we'll ignore no. that one. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you like slide the, the 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 puck, the paddle, all the way across the table, and I say, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, geez, man, it, it's not uh, it's not bad, man. Twenty. This is not. Bad. They're obviously going first, so they get the the puck. Um, You guys who are defending on this can either roll brains or flight. Oh, I'm running. I'm rolling brains. And you can either roll brains or flight to if you have the puck. All right. And I'll go uh, quick too. Totally flight with me. Who needs yeah. to think, right? Yeah. And you got. You actually have control of the puck since you have the Ooh. Ice. Terrible. Uh, so, what did you say we're rolling next? Either brains or flight to defend. Okay. Oh no. All 
All right. Um, so being kind of a, the natural athletes on uh, team Ted and Alex, they actually over the night, uh, over the game, come out uh, on top. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Uh, but at least we don't get hit by Chuck and his guys. You don't know that. That's right. And actually, you hear you somebody bumps your uh, shoulder, Alex, mm-hmm. and they uh, you hear Carl's voice. What's up, Dweebs? Uh, nothing, and keep on to the game. Carl, you don't got to be such a jerk, man. You trying to tell me what to do, man? Just saying. We're just here to have a good time. Roll, roll charm. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> He looks at you and says, shut up, shit stain. <laughs> hey, man, my bad. We'll go back to playing. <clears throat> they kind of leer around the table and kind of get bored with you guys not um, engaging. And yep. finally leave. You hear somebody saying something about a party down at the, the lake. Yeah, I hope it's Crystal Lake. Ooh, <laughs> nice one. That's pretty savage for the 80s. That was a good bird. Did we name the arcade guy the... We Where didn't we? name the owner of the arcade. Or... Alright. I mean, I'm fine with us just going with Mr. Litwick. The pot dealer. <laughs> Litwick. Well, that's a rumor anyway. <laughs> Speaking of rumors, uh, chat, um, we get started getting some fails here. Actually, uh, Chuck, go ahead and take an advers- adversity token. Got it. Uh, they'll give you plus one on rolls, as I was telling the, the guys before the game. Uh, you can actually buy the players. Uh, an adversity, adversity token for five dollars. Uh, Ten dollars, you either buy a city or town rumor, or evidence to back up any rumor in the game. And then every twenty dollars unlocks a reroll for the players to use. You just do exclamation point tip in chat, and I'll show you the link. <clears throat> all right. So, what's uh, Heather doing in all this? She is chewing gum. It's growing her hair. I'm really bored. And she's thinking about calling her bestie, and it's really loud in here, and she doesn't think that anyone is able to hear her on her cell phone. It's this big. Her cell phone is this big. Uh, but she'll show up like that would work. And she's just really kind of like to go. There's okay. not even any cute boys in here. So, such a bummer. <coughs> Get her sleeping. <laughs> I tell the guys, look at that, man. My babysitter's talking to her toaster again. <laughs> I, I, I have it. I don't I remember can't what hear. kind of reception that thing got. Probably. Not great. No, probably here. Yeah, you're not getting... you probably wouldn't have been able to hear it in the arcade. So she is not using it. No, She's you not probably don't it. have a signal in town at all. It probably drives you crazy. Yeah. So I'm Mr. from L.A. where, where this stuff works. Mm. Okay. I just carry it around how to have it. It's like I can have a weapon. <laughs> Alright, so Mr. Uh, Litwick comes over to, to the air hockey. Uh, hey, boys. Uh, sorry about that. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. Yeah, it happens. It's like, they have to do something. They're so bad at gauntlet. Um, the sound effects sound like an S and M party. Ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, you know what what do you know S&M about S and M party is? Oh, uh, it's a uh, Sears and in Montgomery. The, have you been in the back room and who's your video again? Do I need to tell your parents? 
Oh no, but not me. Scout's honor. Mm-hmm. Um, here on the house, and he gives you um, a ten dollar roll of quarters. Oh, thanks, <clears throat> Mr. Lickwick. Hey, have you That's seen? Uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, have you seen uh, Bobby Jenkins around lately? Uh, no, not that I can remember. He's uh, a while. yeah. He's in your class, or was in your class. Um, I hadn't seen him in a few days. Usually he's in there every day. And I was, was going to call his folks and see if he was all right, but uh, hoping he turns up soon. <sighs> yeah. Um, it occurs yeah. to us we haven't seen him around in a day or two. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't been in school. We all thought he's sick. Well, you're out of school at the summertime. Oh, never mind. They could go to summer school. You don't true. know what their grades were. That's true. <laughs> what's uh, what, what's Bobby like? Is he friendly to us, or is he? Do, do we like him? He's quiet. Um, he's he's an outcast. Yeah. Because he's when was the last time any of us have have we seen him here, or have we like? Uh, yeah, you probably have. It's probably been. How often do you go to the arcade? Every a couple day. of times a week, yeah. Been, at least. Been the same as Mr. Litwick. Yeah. Can yeah, we, we can go check up on him? Maybe there's yeah. a mystery. Yeah, we haven't <laughs> seen him like going when you know, when I haven't seen him when I'm like headed out in a random direction to see what's out there. Like out in the forest or any of the uh Junkyards or natural areas or anything like that. No, you guys haven't seen them. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe his parents got him a Nintendo and he's playing games at home now. <laughs> uh, that awesome. was a thing. Yeah, we should go check it out. Maybe he's got Duck Hunt guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Let's head on I, over there then. I, I pull out a, uh, a notebook that has a bunch of uh, kind of sticky notes all over it and other things. Turn to a new page. Write Bobby missing in large letters. <laughs> Question mark. All right. Okay. okay. So, and then I uh, pull. Um, Hawks has the babysitter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah I, pull, I, I pull Hawks aside. It's like, so how can we ditch her? I was like, oh, that's 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 easy, man. Uh, just uh, okay. tell her. Um, you know, we just sneak out the back door. Okay. She's not paying any so, attention. Tell you what, I'll head, I'll head out with um, uh, Archie, and he can, um, he can hang on to my bike. And Sounds then, good. Then the three of then you two um, can, come around. Um. Mm -hmm. I want to roll to see if I notice. I want to. I'm sort of watching, so I will. It would be nice if I could. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Yeah. Sure. Could uh, what would I roll to see if I could? Um. It's probably something. It's probably be brains related. Um. Okay. Your difficulty will be a four. Five. So, hey, I notice. I, I I notice the sticky out the back, and yeah. I go out the front, and I stand by by Hawk's bike. <laughs> I just wait for him. <laughs> All right, you guys exit, and there's Heather. Yeah, I don't think so, you little old jerk. You're not <laughs> skipping out on me. I am not, like, stupid or stuff, you know? Is Heather wearing high heels? or She's like... wearing probably, like, <laughs> low high heels. Low high heels? Yes, they're not, like, super high, but they're not flats either. Run for it! <laughs> You're not rocking any Keds or Jordash. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so torn here because Scout is full. 
her honest. I can't. There's so many lies I could tell her. <laughs> she. Oh uh, no. So it's. Okay, look, we're just gonna go and check on Bobby. Okay. I mean, if you want to come, you know, sure. Yeah, it'll be lots of fun. He, I think he's sick. Yeah, I'm not letting you around a sick kid because then you'll get sick. And then I'll have to babysit you when you're sick and then I'll get sick and then I don't want to get sick. So you're going to get sick either way. <laughs> Why not delay it? That's that right. That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> or does it? <laughs> no, it does not. Man, you have the worst babysitter. No, I'm the best babysitter. I let him go to the arcade. We weren't supposed to leave the house. Well, then you'll protect me from germs. I, how am I supposed to protect you from germs? You can't exactly, like, see them and stuff. Also, well, look, you know, you're an awesome babysitter. You'll think of something. Okay. No, also, you're not going to a sick kid's house. You know, if we go to the sick kid's house, then maybe he won't tell his parents you took him to the arcade. That's How about true. we go back to his house and you make, like, get well cards or some, something. I don't know what kids do. And you can take them and give them to his mom. We don't and... know he's sick. Wait, wait, guys. We need a huddle. I got an idea. You don't know if he's <laughs> huddle. sick? Huddle. You don't know if the sick kid is sick? We don't so... know if he's sick. We're going to go check up on it. That's where we're going. Hey, they're huddling. So... Come on, it'll be fun. He is a he is a cute older brother. I was gonna say Litwick gave us that roll of quarters we didn't use. Just pay her off ten bucks. <laughs> Dude. Roll of quarters. That roll of quarters is totally that's like a Chekhov's gun. That's coming back as a plus one on someone's fight roll one of these days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, besides, I mean, it's like I think she's getting paid more than ten dollars to watch over watch over Hawks. I don't want to know. So, I mean, <laughs> well, in the eighties. I mean, it was probably ten bucks, ten or okay, twenty. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're going to put your, um, we're gonna put your bikes in the back of my truck, okay? And, um, yeah, and then we're gonna go back to Hawk's house, and you can call your friend to check up on him. Well, why can't we just use your phone to call now? You could try. It doesn't work very well. I'm going to take it out of my purse. Here. <laughs> Would you like to use my phone to call him? Um, I don't know his number. It's pink, by the way. Yeah, yeah. The who's giant the, uh, pink phone. Who's the, uh, who's the prankster of us again? I'm trying to remember. Hawk. The, Oh, I'm the I'm the funny sidekick. I, okay, Hawks is the funny sidekick. It's like, hey Hawks, you know Bobby's number, right? Yeah, of course I do. I'll give him my phone. It probably doesn't get any reception. It's probably all like right. totally this useless. Is, all right, so this is what I do. Um. Um. I, so I dial the number that tells you the time of day. Which is like two two, is... two 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 something something like that. Yeah, and I, I, I'm like, listen, I'm like, uh huh. Hey, hi, is uh, hi, you know, Mrs. Mrs. Bobby's mom is uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh wait, um, oh yeah, hi, hi, Chad. Uh, we were just calling about your little brother. Yeah, guess what? I'm calling us. I'm calling on one of those cell phones. Yeah, it belongs to my babysitter. I look at her and I say, I look, and then I look at the guys and I say, yeah, she's cute. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. And I hand Heather the phone and I say, he wants to talk to you. And as soon as she accepts the phone, I'm going to jump on the bike and split. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, beat it, guys! <laughs> Let's go! Jesus. I guess Archie's right in. At the tone, the time will be. <laughs> Some of those bikes actually have the 
the metal yeah. bars on the back wheel that somebody could stand on. Can stand up, so, yeah. So yeah. I probably have that on there. And I look over at Hawks like, dude, I thought you were totally gonna like call like Hong Kong or something like that, wreck up her bill. Hey, you know, I, I thought it was I thought it was funnier, but Hong Kong would be great. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh, so I don't have a bike. I have a truck that belong to like I don't know my brother or something. We're going through alleyways. I'm I'm leading us through alleyway, cutting through terrain where she can't follow. Okay. Well, as you come Cut out of the alley, um, you hear. There they are. Let's get them. Let's kick their ass. And it's Carl and his guys on bikes. So we're going to have a little chase scene. And yes, crap is the strongest word you ever hear me use. <laughs> All right. So let's everyone make a flight roll. And the difficulty. Because you're trying to actually. Um, lose them. So we'll say the difficulty is nine. Uh, Do I still well, make one if I'm on someone else's bike? No, you're fine. Uh, okay. Dang it. Nope. <laughs> All right. Gosh, I would complain about the dice, but it's a random number generator. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it. Athleticism is not my forte. Not mine either. I did alright. Yep. Uh, Ted kind of comes out ahead of you guys. Uh, you can see like, that Carl and his uh, friends are kind of catching up. Uh, Heather, you're getting in your truck. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try and find them. So as you look back, you can see um, five bullies on bikes. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, this pickup truck just kind of swerves out into the street Ooh. behind them. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have another uh, flight roll to see if we can shake them. Uh, difficulty will be. Let's make it eight. Uh, oof. I got a 12. That means I roll again, right? My dice is no, d12. No, no. no. You have 11 plus you have one. Like yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, only for old maximum on the dice. Yeah. Oh, it'll, be okay. a, it'll be a green okay. box round number. Uh, cool. Um, so, like that garbage pail kids car that I paper that close pin to my spokes is apparently the friction is really slowing me down. <laughs> um, just so you know, everyone, well, uh, Archie, Alex, and Hawks take two adversity tokens. Interesting. Gotcha. All right, uh, Heather, you're seeing this group of bullies. They've harassed these guys before. Uh, are kind of like catching up to them on their bikes. Uh -huh. How do you feel? Annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to catch up. I'm going to try to catch up with them, but, you know, not run over the bullies. Okay. Well, it'll be, uh, you're driving, so it'll be brains. <laughs> <laughs> great. Wound. I'm a great driver. Bye. I'm an excellent driver. Yeah. Yeah. This one shot's going to get dark really quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to set the difficulty at six, because you're in a car and they're on the bikes. Um... So take a adversity, adversity token. Okay. I'm trying really hard not to run him over, and it might uh, be going a little too slow. <laughs> Shit, I can't go to jail. I'm way too pretty for jail. Um, since we're going through an alleyway, are there, like, boxes and stuff? You no know, trash, trash cans. Trash Anything that... Um, we're talking about metal trash uh, cans with the metal lids and yeah, anything that uh, uh, Archie can um, you know kind of knock over as he's I'm providing the motive power and you know he can just kind of reach out and try to knock some trash cans and in, into the path. 
that would be a help action via adversity token. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, so, there's nothing that really grants advantages other than the adversity tokens. Okay. <laughs> All right, so one more flight check from the kids. And he'll get a plus one, right, because of I use the adversity token? Yes, that's correct. Okay. okay. And difficulty you... eight for the flight. Okay, I want to use two of mine. So that's going to be a total of plus three then. You! Uh, three, submit. Oh! oh no! No! no. <laughs> Alex, no! Man, we've got to get you a new bike. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I just did a 50 mile hike last week, okay? Yeah. I like stand up on the pedals and like lean forward and just book it. And I, you know, I surge in, I look back and I see I, I I see, like, oh no, Alex isn't with us. Yeah, you guys probably cut into another alley. Um, and Alex with Archie and Toe um, missed the turn. And uh, and they're gaining uh, closely. But then Heather comes around the corner. <laughs> and you see them, Heather. Mm -hmm. Roll another braids. Well, what are you doing? I roll it. I'm going to try and cut everyone off, like at the other side of the alley or something. Go around and cut them off at the other side of the alley, if that's what? possible. Okay. And I'm going to turn around and head back to Alex. I can't leave. Them, I can't leave the two of them alone. Awesome. Good job. Yeah. Once I realize that they're missing, I turn back okay. as well. Uh, Heather, roll flight this time. Uh, difficulty, since you're doing a maneuver, uh, nine, trying to get in front of them without hitting them and then stopping them. Eleven. <laughs> what are you doing? And they, like, put both hands in your truck, like, really hard. Uh, who, do, who does that? The bullies? Yes. So you stop them. Look out. And I'm going to shake my hair, do a hair flip, and be like, listen, you little shit stains. <laughs> I don't like these kids any more than you do, uh, but I'm getting paid to watch that one right there. I played a hog. And you are going to leave them alone, or else I will not drive as carefully next time, okay? Get your butts out of here. Carl looks at the other four, and they shrug, and fine, let's just go. You better get out of here. Come on now, get! <laughs> I whisper back to her. She's like, "Is it wrong for me to kind of think she's hot right now?" <laughs> Grew up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and where you stopped is on the outskirts of town, out the, out of that alley. <coughs> And you can see this old, dilapidated um, factory behind you. And the initials... Okay. Uh, or you can see the letters kind of where they were at one point. And it makes out, you can see it says Babington. Okay. So it's um, it's an abandoned area? Yeah, you guys know this place. It's the uh, old abandoned chocolate factory. Okay. Um, while Heather's dealing with Carl and his crew, um, and we see the abandoned chocolate factory, I just kind of and take off of Archie towards the uh, um, the uh, space in the uh, chain link fence that, you know, everyone knows is there. Okay. But Where do you guys can't... think you're going? <laughs> no, you got this right out there. Bye. Viking, can't hear you. Bye. <laughs> you're going to go in there and you're going to die and then I'm not going to get paid. <laughs> I'll not tell my folks you did a real good job. Yeah. I yell over my shoulder. Not our problem. 
Yep, follows too. Being dead is gonna be your problem! <laughs> I've seen this movie, there are killer clowns in the air. <laughs> we could only be so lucky. Yeah. So. I'm gonna yeah. take all, are, do you, are you taking your bikes with you? Oh, of course. We're, yeah, we're getting up to the, um, to the hole in the fence and then getting off the bikes and running through the, um, you know, the wire flap up. Your bike's bit? Yeah, we're going in on foot. Yeah. Okay. I am going to take Hawk's bike and put it in the back of my truck. And okay. I'm just going to take everyone's bikes and put them in the back of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to take all the bikes back to Hawk's house so I can pretend like they were there. <laughs> like, I don't know where they went. They're, they were having a sleepover upstairs. <laughs> Their bikes are still here. <laughs> I don't know where they went. <laughs> I'm sure Hawks has a really good fake crying. And then, and then, <laughs> she took her bikes and left us on the town. <laughs> She drove us out to the chocolate factory, dropped us off, and then oh. drove away. Hey. <laughs> I'm not thinking about that right now. She doesn't know that. Yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> so. It's almost true, too. Yeah. It's almost true. All right. So let's um, still just kind of scramble. Uh, I'm still scrambling towards the chocolate factory. Yeah, likewise. Our, our possibly sick friend, completely forgotten with... The prospect of a new adventure. <laughs> adventure! How much? How much have you guys explored this place before? Oh, always wanted to. Never have. Yeah, probably. Yeah, same. A little bit during the day. Yeah. It's like you know, everyone knows that there's like areas in the fence you can just kind of you know lift up the 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 wire and you know go through mm -hmm. but you know nobody really goes into there that much okay so you guys crawl through the chain link fence and heather is taking your bikes elsewhere <laughs> yes <coughs> we'll go real sorry when we're <laughs> hmm? talking to the chat i want you so what this place, it? um, it's oh. nightfall. I mean, sunset. Okay. Thanks to the follow, Gorin Starburn. Um, no, if this was your creation, why don't you describe this dilapidated factory on the outside? Archibald. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> I'll, uh, let's see. Uh, well, first I'll uh, pull out of my, uh, my bag uh, this kind of, that same notebook where I put down Bobby's Missing, and I flip to a page titled The uh, Bavington Chocolate Factory with, like, murder, question mark, death, question mark. <laughs> um, it's got some, like, Polaroids that are, it's been stuck in there with double-sided tape of it during the uh or like a look like a couple newspaper clippings um but now it's been uh it's been like 20 30 years since it's been closed so you've got some of the windows uh it look like you know rocks kids have thrown rocks in they're like kind of busted out here and there um part of the the babington chocolate factory what might have been like a colored sign at one point some of the letters are kind of missing or there's been like some paint over it um and uh, definitely doesn't look like anyone's been here for a while. Yeah. Okay. I'd say probably uh, the uh, Carl and gang were the culprits on the throwing the rocks yeah. recently. So, like, does the sign the sign has like letters like that have fallen down? And I haven't come up with anything cool uh, for the Babington part, but the letters have fallen out like the so the the c is missing and the second letter is still there 
and then the rest of the letters are missing up until the last three. So it says that something hate factory. Nice. <laughs> Not creepy at all. No. <laughs> it's like, I look over at uh, Archie and it's like, dude, why don't your parents do something about this place? Uh, you know, I don't know. They uh, they said it was a money sink and went on to, to other stuff. Well, why not uh, sell it? Can't see uh, why you'd get that idea. <laughs> uh, I, who knows? They, they don't tell me anything. You know, I've, I've asked them about it. I, uh, creepy stuff happened. No one's wanted the building or something. It's just, you know, sit here ever since. So what, do you know of anything that's in, in there or...? Uh, I, I've only gotten a little bit in, uh, but I think a lot of the old uh, machinery just has kind of been sitting there. If they were going to try to auction it or, you know, I don't know, plans fell through. There was, um, I'll, I'll, pull, I'll show like this newspaper clipping. Apparently there were a couple people died in the factory. They found like body parts in the big chocolate cauldron. Uh, so, so they rushedly shut it down. Yeah. Uh, Wait, isn't that like awesome? cannibal chocolate? Uh, I don't know what happened. I could just find little clips here and there. I think the family tried to keep it hush hush. Ted, you sounded just a little too excited about that. I, that uh, <laughs> that was not me, man. Oh, sorry, Greg. <laughs> Greg, you sounded Hawks, you sounded a little too enthusiastic about that. No, that's disgust, that. man. So you guys, all right. Walk, <clears throat> walk up to the front I'm, door. Yeah, I'm walking to the front door, looking for ways of getting in. It's got a I heavy my, uh, chain on it with a padlock. I get my little video camera out and uh, a flashlight so I can record what we find. Sure. Uh, are there any other like windows like that we think we can crawl through or? Um. Well, actually, he mentioned that he went during the day. Archie did, so uh -huh. he probably knows a way inside. Um, so yeah, so how do we get in there, Archie? Uh, well, the the front doors are still chained up, I think. But there's a uh, the old um, like loading bay uh, around the back. You can get in still. Okay. All right, lead the way. Okay. I'll trudge on towards the back of the building. It's one of those old like garage uh, kind of metal things uh, yeah. that looks like it. Um, it just like doesn't shut all the way down. It's got like a space that you can kind of crawl through to get in. Okay. So, okay, I, I'll go in first and, you know, um, pull out the flashlight from my backpack to kind of play it around once I'm inside and see what's there. Okay, uh, you see a lot of um, machinery. I don't know, as kids, you probably think you're, you'd see something kind of magical, like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Yes. Um, like a chocolate river. Some creepy old guy singing. <laughs> There's no earthly way of knowing. So, um, are there any signs of, like, animals, I'm sure, coming, wandering around? Yeah, in the uh, in the corner, you hear some skittering. And something gets knocked over. Yeah. Um, you move so your flashlight right. over to it. You see like a rat go by really quickly. Yeah. So, yeah, just be careful, guys. There's like animals that there are critters in here that can bite you and get you sick. All right. So I'm inside by this time, and I'm flashing my flashlight around, and I say, "Man, this sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory sucks." Uh, I'll dig out my chunk or my flashlight and be like, "Hey guys, we could totally get some of this people chocolate and give it to Chad and his other dicks. <laughs> totally get them back for being such jerks." Man, that is the most disgusting idea I have ever heard in my entire life. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of playing the flashlight up into the raft. Make sure there's no like bats or anything like that, and you know, still kind of walking around, wandering around. All right. <clears throat> um. Let's see. Uh, 
So again, you're seeing a lot of like old, dilapidated, just machines from the 50s. I mean, so it's not even like up to date yeah. stuff. Um, I guess like chocolate presses and. So you're looking for actually some chocolate? If there's any left. That would be some really yeah. old chocolate. <laughs> I'm not. Get I some just, of that people chocolate. <laughs> but, dude, this is totally a place where you'd expect Scooby-Doo and the gang to, you know, stop some old guy dressed up as a ghost or something. Or, you know, like, people to sneak in and do drugs. You aren't there. You're, you're taking bikes. I, I know. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm taking their bikes. I'm but as Alex out, says to... ghosts, you hear a loud clatter in, like, an adjacent room all of a sudden. Yeah. I, I, I move the camera to it see if I can <laughs> yeah. capture anything. Or in that oh. direction. Dude, we're, to know. we're totally beating Blair Witch by, like, about 20 years. <laughs> they're gonna find. Like, okay. They're gonna find found footage on this Fisher Price camera. <laughs> <laughs> with, with one of you just like staring into the corner, I'll be like, like <laughs> clearly shot. People chocolate. Said, I people chocolate. You. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if we're gonna find any chocolate here, man, but I'm about to make some fudge. Hey, <laughs> Protista. <laughs> you guys have heard the rumors about this place, right? Oh, the rumors. Oh yeah. Yep. Man, I hope we come across whatever's been making noises in here. It's probably just more rats. And I start walking towards that room that we heard the noise. Sure. Um, you actually hear um, some more, like, movement in the room, like things are shuffling around. Does it sound heavier than a rat? Like, it's not like skitter, skitter, skitter. It's more like... Mm. Make a... Roll brains if you're trying to figure out the... Is it bigger than a bread box? <laughs> I mean, because some rats are big and... 16. Yeah, that's heavier. Okay. I just kind of hold up a little bit of stuff. Then call out, hello? 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 Where's everybody else standing? <laughs> A uh, few feet uh, behind, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Ba I'm gonna back him up, but like not real close. You hear, like, okay. <clears throat> so, whatever pause you hear, like, you hear like like a shuffling or like sliding, and you hear this low guttural growl. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Young Frankenstein. <laughs> um, I look around for a piece of like scrap metal or rebar or something. Rebar, yeah, yeah, same here. Okay. Um, so around the corner comes this large uh, dog. Um, large dog looks to be not really malnourished, but it's kind of found its way in here looking for food. There's no collar. Um, it's not... You can't tell if it's rabid, but it looks very aggressive to you guys. Okay. So, I just sort of... You know, hands like this, kind of kneel down towards it, get a little bit closer on... You know, even though it's a ways away, closer towards like eye level, mm -hmm. I say, "Hey, hey, buddy, we're not here to hurt you or anything." Just kind of have my hand out, offered neutrally. The Ted run, or did you just say run? Uh, <laughs> I I would have started, and then realizing that no one else was running, maybe would have stopped a, yeah. a few more feet back to witness okay. the murder to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to attack. Oh! It comes at you, so what are you guys doing? Run. Run. Okay. Run. Alright, so I'm gonna roll its fight. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to block Run. it with this piece of metal I've got. Okay. Actually I'm not rolling anything. Um You're actually gonna block it? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to okay. try to... Yeah, I'm not going to try to hit it exactly, but I'm going to try to, like, put this thing, you know, in okay. front of its jaws. Like, get the stick, buddy. That kind of thing. For those who are running, I need a flight. And that's going to be... I'm going to give you the DC. It'll be a six. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> wow! You can throw it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Eighteen. F this shit, I'm going home. Okay, well... <laughs> Alex and Archie take... An adversity token. You guys kind of trip over something. Actually, as uh, as Ted runs, and because he got the um, the exploding dice, he knocked over things in your way, and so you're like tripping <laughs> over them. Um, Thanks, Ted. Since Hawks is blocking. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm guessing it's fight. No, well, hold on. That's if you're going to fight back. If you're blocking, it's going to be brawn. Oh, well, that might not be terrible. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I thought that was you. <laughs> All right. So the defender. So in combat, here's how it works. Uh, you actually rolled greater than I did. So the defender is uninjured. Uh, you narrate the outcome. All right. So he lunges forward, and I I picked up this you know stick shaped piece of metal, and as he lunges forward, I kind of do like this, and I stick it in his jaws. And since it's a brawn check, I'm just going to shove him back. And then um, I'm going to, and right after that, I'm going to run. Okay. But like, I bought us, I bought us some time. Okay. All right. So everyone make a, another flight check. This time, since he bought you time, the difficulty will be three. Difficulty is what? Three. Three. Okay. Oh, actually, I have a chance. I make tracks. Yay! <clears throat> so where are you guys running off to? <clears throat> uh, oh, totally deeper in the factory. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm headed back the way that we that we came in from. Okay. Yeah, under that. All door. right. Well, all right. I'll follow everybody else. Yeah, I'll follow in the group. Okay. So you guys make it outside. Um, are you going back out to the front or to the side? No, just. Just close the door that we came in. I okay. Well, no, but are you just staying there, or are you leaving the premises? Hey guys, I said okay. we book it back to the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. I mean, we can do that. Um, yeah, that's enough. Or, you know, or I hold up um, our roll of quarters. Someone can go to McDonald's, buy a burger to bribe the dog. And... I like what he's thinking. Yep. We, we could do that. Uh, I've got some have... candy bars. I don't know how well those would work. Well, chocolate's poisonous to dogs, so... It worked great. <laughs> it worked great. <laughs> uh, didn't we need to go check on... What's his face, too? Bobby? Um... Ah, he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I'm you guys sure. hear uh, approaching police sirens. Ooh, okay, yeah, let's definitely book it then. To the bikes! To the bikes! <laughs> and as Where are you, the bikes? As you get to the fence, back outside, your bikes are gone. Yeah. Um, and then you see uh, a patrol car uh, come at, down the road towards your direction, but it doesn't stop. It just keeps going Okay. in the direction of Bobby's house. I look at Hawks. It's like, dude... Your babysitter's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. 
Yeah, when I when I see this, uh, there is definitely some PG thirteen or worse language out of uh, out of Ricky. Um, Why do you even still have a babysitter? <laughs> <laughs> because my parents still think it's a nineteen fifty. <sighs> okay, so but those sirens are headed towards Bobby's. In that direction, yeah. We should definitely go check it out. Yeah, let's go check that out. And just settle into a jog. All right, uh, by the time you guys get there, um, the police car, there's actually two patrol cars. Um, It's the deputy sheriff and some other officer that's on. Duty? Yeah, there's only like a handful of cops in this town. And and they're they are in front of Bobby's house. Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, you see Damn, Bobby's mom it. outside. Um, she looks frantic. She's got her hands up, like she's shaking uh, visibly from where you can see in front and um, yeah. right in front of the house. If you're standing there in the road. <clears throat> so, um. I guess head up towards Bobby's mom and say, what happened? What's wrong? Where's Um, Bobby? Is he okay? To that question, she breaks down crying some more. Um, And then the other, not the deputy sheriff, but the other one comes over. Hey kids, I'm going to need you guys to to let us do our job. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> we're, it, that's hot. We just, you know, what what happened to Bobby? Um, have you guys seen Bobby lately? Arcade or movies? No, we came here no. looking for him. Yeah, yeah. The guy at the arcade said he hadn't seen him in a couple of days. Um, if you guys, because this is the '80s and adults, uh, you guys see Bobby, <laughs> let us know, okay? Yeah, sure, officer, of course. And he goes back to talking to his mom. And they go inside. And it's like, like Bobby disappeared? Was this the Twilight Zone? It's crazy, man. think that dog got him <laughs> I'm gonna uh, as soon as Heather drops off the bike she's gonna go back and wait for the boys but she's probably gonna have a hard time finding him just so you know okay who knows maybe she'll try to figure out where Bobby's house is since that seems to be where they wanted to go do we uh, do we I don't uh, know do if she's we, that smart do we overhear the cops saying anything while we're just kind of like figuring out what to do next um, when you guys approached, it was they got quieter. Uh, it's not cause panic. <clears throat> um, but you guys are standing there, and you notice that the um, Bobby's house is in the suburbs that ends where it's right up against the park, the forest. And you see, like, a, at the very back of the backyard, there's a tree house. Well, the police probably, or his mom probably checked there already, but um, I'm going to go back there and just kind of look around. And it, it, does it border, does the tree house border up to the uh, forest and all? What do you mean? I mean, there's you a chain like fence. To- uh, for their whole backyard and their neighbors, yeah. but there's tr- there's a few trees in their backyard, and the one in the very back corner has a tree house, and then behind that fence there's a, a gate. At the the very back wall of their fence, there's a, a gate there that goes into the park area. There's like a little walkway. Is it closed? Is it closed or open? Uh, you guys are in the front yard. I said I was going to go back to the look, check out his tree house. Are you, who was going with them? I don't know. It's like, I'll hey, go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll go. 
You think maybe he got lost in the woods? Maybe. We should check out his treehouse, see if he left any clues or anything up there. Yeah. I mean, his mom probably looked there for him already, but it couldn't hurt to check. You think so? I don't think they could climb up there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, clearly there's a sign that says no, girl, no adults allowed. Yeah. yeah. Right, oh, they're not well. even allowed up there. <laughs> yeah. No girls allowed. Yeah. Um, well, one thing's for sure. His mom's not exactly Nadia Comaneach, so she may have had, she may not be able to get up there. So let's us, let's us check. Okay. So you guys are climbing up to the treehouse? Yeah. I mean, it's typical uh, treehouse. You have your... Magazines like there's a car, some car magazines. There's uh, some comic books. A lot of comic books around. Mad magazine. Yeah, there's like Mad magazine. Um, but then you see like he on the floor. Uh, there are some sketches. Like it's just like it looks like uh, just notebook paper was like thrown about. And there's things that are pinned along the walls, but it's kind of dark. Um, Flashlights. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So as you're looking around, because uh, this stuff is on top of everything else that's kind of strewed about, um, there are really rough pencil sketches of something that looks like it could be a man, but it could be a bear. It's a man bear pig. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Trying not to say it. <laughs> It's the bear man. <laughs> and it's everywhere. It's like the same. There's some slight variations to it. There's some where he took crayons and made red eyes. Oh my god, I can't believe Bobby found the bear man and didn't tell me. Oh man, this is worse than I thought. We gotta there's help him. No, that thing will eat him. There's no bear man, okay? I've been out in the woods more than any of you. I Anything We've got like proof that. right here. <laughs> How else would he know to draw this? <laughs> we got proof that Bobby's got a great imagination. I slip a couple of the drawings in my bag. Okay. Or I'll put it in the book page under Bear Man. Question mark. <laughs> more bear or more man. <laughs> Alright. But that's really all you find. That's odd. Like it's weird. That's up here in the treehouse. Yeah. Is there any other, um, you know, writings or anything or? <clears throat> no. Journal entries. Bear man, watch me again. I watched him back. <laughs> it may be love at first sight. How he about that? To, he ran off to a loop with the bear man. No. I, I don't think it would be, I think it would be anachronistic, but I, I wish I, I would love to be able to make a furry joke right about now, but I don't think kids in the in 1988 would have known about furries. Not so, that, Not that mainstream. No. So, um, okay. Uh, Is the gate to the leading out into the woods open or closed? It's slightly open. The jar. Also, it's it. Bear Man's got him. <laughs> Bobby has a Polaroid camera that's sitting on one of his bookshelves in the treehouse. Okay, like Polaroid instant. Camera? Yes, that's correct. Okay, are there any Polaroids around? Uh, there is one. Actually, there, there's three. Two of them okay. you see like it's in the forest. Mm -hmm. Um. It's the image is kind of blurred, but the third one you see a clear a clear picture of what looks like a bear man, man. or a bear bigfoot, man, big. Sasquatch, whatever. It's something big and hairy. Yeah. Okay. I, oh man, either either the bear man's real or there are a bunch of hell's angels out in the woods. Either one would be bad news for Bobby. I, yeah. Do I do I recognize any of the look of the woods in those Polaroid shots? I mean, the trees are pretty much the same. I mean, it's 
behind, it's okay. where it is from the park. I pull out my recorder and okay. uh, enter date. <laughs> Today, we have found definitive proof that Bear Man <laughs> exists. I have here a Polaroid taken by missing Bobby Jenkins. Whatever his last name, yeah. <laughs> uh, Possibly um, the late Bobby Higgins. <laughs> Jenkins. We can only assume he's now been taken by the Bear Man. Guys, guys. We'll update with more proof soon. Okay. I grab up so, the Polaroid. It looks like it's in the park, right? So let's just head to the park and check it out. I agree with that. No time to think about it. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Yep. Man, here I was thinking Bobby the gate's was open. He must have gone the, that uh, way. By the Colt, but Bear Man is so much better. <laughs> so, actually, yeah, when we get to the game, I'm going to stop. I'm going to see if I can, you know, lay my flashlight down there, see if I can see any footprints. Look, I'm a I've heard. Track. If we come across Bear Man, I've heard if you don't move, he can't see you. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> As you move through the gates, um, and you take a few steps towards the down the uh, path, the uh, dirt path, um, you actually see something laying about maybe 20 feet in. Okay. I go over there, take a look at it, the flashlight, and yeah, you know, what is it? Um, it was this I'm year's, also over there with it. This year's Nike Air Jordans. Uh, you know that Bobby was big with Air Jordans. He had to get the new pair every uh -huh. year. Okay. Um, these could be Bobby's shoes. Yeah, don't touch you them. Just you only found one. Only found one? Yeah. Okay. Um, Bear Man stole one of Bobby's shoes. <laughs> or Bobby's shoes. Or Bobby you know, kicked it off somehow, or who knows. Um, okay, can I see, like, any tracks or anything? Um, They'd be distinctive tracks, that's for sure, if they're Bobby. I mean, you see some sneaker prints, but, I mean, this is uh, National Parks. So people kind of go through here. Yeah, anything that looks like, you know, non-human tracks? Um, make a brains check, and we'll make this difficulty. Remember, if you have any uh, strengths, you can use too with your adversity tokens. Uh, we'll make it difficulty ten. Difficulty ten. Well, I'm prepared. I have my scout handbook. <laughs> you know, compare tracks. Scout handbook does actually have a few basic. Yep, I remember. So. Okay, and I'll use spend that adversity. So, what does that give me on my brains roll? Well, every adversity token you spend, it's one. One, right. Do I get anything for having the strength? That's, if you, that that's so you that, can narratively pull me. out a uh, basic everyday item from your backpack. Yeah. But it doesn't give you any bonuses. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Never mind then. So... Let's do it. Oh! I oh. mean, you see some animal prints, but nothing yeah. big. Okay. All right. Well, let's just get to. Let's just go on in and you know see if we can find Bobby. All right. So. Oh, are there any animal prints leading away from the house? Ah. I mean, you see what could be a wolf print. Something like human size. <laughs> oh. Anything that's like human size that's no. leading away? No. Okay. All right. Well, let's just. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Whose dog is that? <laughs> Mine. I'm sorry. Um, no, Lassie. There, the, there are no wells for Bobby to down here. You guys make another, I would say maybe 30 feet in. And you start hearing some twigs snap. It kind of echoes through the forest. Mm -hmm. You think it comes from maybe your left or maybe from your right. Um, you hear something from behind you. And it's getting louder. 
I get the camera ready to capture Bear Man <laughs> yeah. and all of its glory. Pull around, yes. with, pull around with my flashlight. You pull around and you see an angry teenage babysitter, Heather, standing there. <sighs> really? Do you know how hard it was for me to find you? <clears throat> oh god, the scariest thing on earth! <laughs> right, I would have ran the Bear Man. We told yeah. you we were going to Bobby's, Heather. Exactly. Yes, and that's how I found you. <laughs> yeah. So come on. You're wandering around in these woods that have killer hippies. I wander around these woods at night all the time, okay? Believe me, there's nothing to be afraid of. But Bobby's in there somewhere. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, isn't that the police's job? The police Bobby's... don't gonna believe any of us. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. It's Bear Man <laughs> who took Bobby. <laughs> And we'll yeah, never find him in time. We have definitive like, bear man proof. Bear right. man exists. <laughs> bear <laughs> man exists. Yeah. We've got the pictures so, to prove it. So come on, guys. Yeah, let's go. I and don't believe that at all. Keep walking with the flashlight pointing forward and scanning around looking for prints, clues, anything like that. All right. So you guys go further in. At this point, we're going to take our break. But we're going to do a giveaway real quick. Yay! Those in chat, if you guys are ready, uh, I'm gonna put a keyword in. Just uh. Bearman pig. I'm just putting bearman in. <laughs> <laughs> and as we proceed into the woods, a dog barks in the ditch. All right. So Rook, once Rook. I post this in chat, you guys go ahead and reply with the keyword, and then we'll make a draw and get back from break. All right. And see you about five minutes. See ya. Awesome. See you soon.
welcome back, everybody. Hello. Hope you're enjoying the game so far. <coughs> uh, we'll go ahead and pick our winner. Yep. Although I believe all of our our viewers are winners. That's right. <laughs> they just don't. They don't just don't. We appreciate your support. And the winner is. All right. My phone call. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that, that was some that. great lead-in for like the drawing <laughs> announcement. The winner is Protista one seventeen. Yay! Yay! Congratulations! I will get uh, with you after the show. It's one of those you have to provide me your email and I'll send it to them and they'll hook you up. Apparently, they don't trust me. <clears throat> All right, so you guys are in the woods. Mm -hmm. Going deeper. It's nighttime. How are you guys reacting? I'm a little nervous, to be honest with you. Hell, I'm in my element here. I'm got my Heather's flashlight out. I'm looking annoyed. around. I think Heather's just annoyed that. But... Yeah, I mean, just uh, me and Alex go into the woods all the time at night looking for Bear Man, which apparently was just here all along. This is so stupid. So you're just walking behind them, Heather, yeah. or are you trying to pull them back the other direction? Well, they're totally not going to listen to me. <laughs> I could try. Be like, hey, kids, I'll give you all candy or whatever kids like if we go back to, to, to Rick's house. Meh. Yeah, no, we're I'm I'm still going. It's like, okay, guys, just remember, beware of snakes because they do have cottonmouths out here, and if you like step in like a pile of leaves or twigs or something, they're just gonna react and bite you on the ankle and pump you full of venom. Come on, come on, kids, let's get out of these woods. It's oh. totally not smart. I'm and, pretty and charming and stuff. And um, the, and, the and I know you like candy. And, that's why Halloween bugs. exists. That's why the stink bugs, you know, that's why you don't wear a lot of deodorant or cologne or anything because stink bugs just go to like scents of really strong like perfumes and stuff like that and they'll just start swarming around, crawling in your hair and all over your body and everything, getting in you and they'll just like do their stink land thing on you. All of a sudden in the distance you hear Yeah. Kids, like, oh. we're all going to get eaten alive. It would be much better if we went back and ate candy. It's just a wolf. At least that was a bear man. Was that a dog? <laughs> well, I think that was a wolf. And Can't be worse than that dog we saw earlier. There are no wolves Maybe it is the dog we saw earlier. We well, there are run. wolves in Indiana, but not wild wolves. Um, you know, they, they've probably, I mean, it's probably like wolves have escaped from all the circuses that have kind of come through through town over the years. And, That's yeah, stupid. I mean, not... Well, circuses not... don't have. Oh well, yeah, some of them what do. What kind of circus yeah. has a wolf? A cool uh, one. Yeah. I've never heard of yeah. a circus yeah. that has a wolf. What was the last I mean, circus it's... you went to? Uh, I don't besides, know. Besides, like, besides they're not I natural. Besides, they're not natural. It means that they're feral, which means that they grow accustomed to the wild and have absolutely. No... So yeah, we're probably being stopped. I'm just you're, you're all giving good reasons why we should not be in these woods. Look, it's fine. Alex is a scout. He's an expert on this stuff. He's also Besides. a stupid kid. Besides. You're a stupid kid, and you're a stupid kid, and you're a kid, so we're leaving. A lot smarter than you when it comes to the woods. Well, I'm a lot smarter when it comes to not getting eaten. Heather. Okay, fine. Heather. As you're standing here arguing... Uh, and actually, the the boys see it. They they look at. They're watching this whole thing just unfold. Um, a spider starts coming down, and it lands on your neck, like right where your bare skin is. And it's pretty big. It's about the size of a quarter. I still forget. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Flick it at the boys. Not like on purpose, but just because it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Um, do I see where the spider falls? Yeah. I, I, I look at it. it. It's probably like a brown. Just nothing special about it. No, no, it just skitters off. Yeah. It's like That's how gross. Spiders are gross. Spiders are so um, super gross. And in that so reaction that you were flailing around, you actually flailed into a bunch of webs by a nearby tree. And you... Oh, no, get them off! Oh, oh, no, get them off! No! Oh, oh, gross! Gross, gross, gross! Oh, my God! Oh, no! I just broke a nail. You guys, maybe roll, break hey, I need a you, nail. I need you to roll grit for me, Heather. <laughs> Great. And let me give what, you your what? difficulty. Hold on. Man, even if we don't find Bear Man, having all this on video is awesome. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> totally worth it. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah this is. We're we're in oh. we're in Fat City when it comes to her babysitting from now on. She'll, she'll let us go to the arcade any old time now. Since you have a fear of creepy crawly things, and it's dark, I'm gonna say the difficulty is seven. Okay, well, okay. I'm not going to be able to get a 7 unless this dice explodes, okay? Okay. Roll. Do you have any virtue tokens? No. I have one. Should I get some? <laughs> you take no. off running yeah. into the forest. Oh my god! Oh my oh. god! I run the wrong way. Oh my god, get off you're, me! You're still I'll run into another one! Stop! You're still on the path. You're just going the, different, the other direction from where you came in at. Yeah. Okay. I would like to take a moment to say, you know, people run into spider webs and they're like, oh my god, get off. Get off. Oh my god, it's gross. Oh my god. Right. You run into a spider web and a spider's like, that person just wrecked my house. I just <laughs> built that. <Yeah>. Rude. <laughs> so, Hero right. takes off ahead of you guys. I, I look back and it's like, so, should we go after her before she falls in a patch of poison? Ivy? Yeah, or something worse. All that yeah. noise she's making, she'll probably attract Man Bear right to us. Exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. true. If we, if we lose Ivy. our babysitter, my parents will never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so just kind of follow, trying to keep up. It's like, Heather, stand still! We're like, like zigzagging. Oh my god, 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 Heather, if you get leeches on you, I'm gonna have to, you have to white cut out, I'm gonna have to burn them off, oh, and like our flashlights are point, our the bees are our flashlights are kind of like flicking every which way, in like a really spooky fashion. I've got the um, uh, the the angle light that's got the belt clip on. Those were real big in the '80s for scouting. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm just I'm jogging. It's kind of but still relatively focused ahead. Okay. Um, as you're moving through, I mean, you finally catch up to her uh, before she's. She I think breaks she, her neck. She probably <laughs> lost. I mean, you don't. You're kind of off the path now. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I pick up my flat, take my flashlight off my belt, and I say, "Are you okay?" And just kind of run, look, look at her and check her over, make sure that she's not got anything. Still the stuck on gross. her. The woods are so gross. They're only gross. Everything in the woods is gross. Them. What? They're only gross because you're not used to them. No, they're gross because they're gross. Like, the okay. woods are more scared of you than you are of them. Does she have any, like, bug bites or anything on her? Probably mosquitoes this summer. Yeah. At least mosquitoes. Okay. I take off my backpack, open it up, pull out my first aid kit, and hand her the chamomile lotion. It's like, here. That smells Rub gross. It yeah, but it's going to be better than you itching all the skin off your arms and back and everywhere you got bit. I take a little bit. You. Ted and Archie, as this is going down, you hear. You can actually you feel something behind you, like you're being watched. 
My dog! My dogs! I told you that feral dog. There's danger. Must bark. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a corgi attack. Uh, whip around and shine my flashlight. Yeah, same. What all do I? What all do I see? Well, you see a couple of tall trees, yeah. and you see it just an instant, and it could just be the shadow, the way the light, both your lights kind of hit together at the same time. Um, some sort of shadow looked like it was behind the tree, and it's not there anymore. D did you see that? Man bear. <laughs> <laughs> Poor uh, I hope I caught it on video. Oh, this will be great. Guys, guys, I think he's over this way. Let's go check it out. It'll be great. So you guys go around the, the tree, uh, the trees, and there's nothing I'm there. Following them. And you then you hear, there? yeah, and then that moment when you just kind of relax a little, when you when you don't see anything there. From behind again, you hear uh, some twigs snapping, some branches cracking. Whip around again. What do we see, man? I swear, if this is Heather again. <laughs> <laughs> We've already had that happen. Um, same thing. You see what you think is a shadow, and it's gone. How many man bears are there? <laughs> Maybe the cult is all man bears. Oh, man. Bear. <laughs> bears. Run over to that one too. I can't. I can't give this up. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You go around and nothing. Are you by yourself this time? No, I went to. Uh, yeah. This man. Bobby, if that's you out there, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> It's wild dogs. <laughs> All right. Um, as you're looking around, if you're both together, yeah, nothing happens. But you're getting a sense that somebody's either messing with you or this is really weird. Because you, you get a sense that something is out there. Man bear's trying to get us. <laughs> we should we turn our flashlights off. Or anything? Say that again. No, Do no we see any footprints? No. no prints. Okay. Maybe our flashlights are scaring it. Uh, you know, come to think of it, that's probably a good thing. If so. Do we? Anyone have like a lighter or some matches? We could start a fire. I have a lighter. <laughs> fire off. Right. Uh, Smoking the bear would disapprove. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I'm going to disapprove if I see you guys doing this. <laughs> it, it turns out to be Smokey the Bear. Only you can prevent forest fires. It's Mac from Mac and Me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, Ted and Archie. Roll grits, and this will be at a difficulty of six. No, did not yeah. pass. Yeah, it's really start to, to bother you, Ted. Sorry, they're bothering me too. <laughs> um, but RT, you've shaken off. Oh. Have you told the others? Uh, I presumed I was yelling "man bear" oh. uh, as I ran from <laughs> one tree to another. And I am presuming that the kids are really stupid. Like, as dumb as, I don't know, like, 
a super mud. Like, they are like dog as shit. <laughs> Alex and Hawk, since you're also kids, go ahead and roll grit. Oh, me. Do, 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 do. Uh, again, it's uh, difficulty six. Oh, I'm good. Nope. Oh, boy. Um, My flashlight okay. beam starts to jiggle. Mm hmm. Hey guys, uh, maybe we should go back. Yes, that's what I've been yeah, saying. Yeah, guys, I don't like but, this. But what are you I guys talking about? We should get out of the woods. We we have the opportunity of a lifetime to find <laughs> man bear yeah. bear yeah. man. Yeah. I told you, candy. Look, everyone, just settle down, okay? Be calm. If you start panicking and you just run off, that's how you get lost. Okay? Plus, what is Bobby is still out here? We gotta find him. Yeah, exactly. So. Like I say, I'm not panicking, I'm just freaking out. That freaking out <laughs> we, is panicking, okay? So. We should come up with a plan in case Man Bear Pig attacks us. <laughs> I think if that happens, we should all run for it. I think that we should just leave before this non-existent man bear appears. Are there any it's like? Are there any large like sticks around? Yeah. Uh, you know, limbs. Okay. Fine. Something that's gonna look like it can you know do some serious poking. And I pull out my scout knife and I will the tip to a point. Okay. Okay. As that takes some time, a little bit of time. Yeah. yeah. Um, as you reach down for the stick, a big furry foot steps down on top of it. Whoa! Whoa! Can I look up? Uh, what you see um, is a man who's wearing sort of a bear pelt. Okay. What are you kids doing out here? I don't know. They're trying to look for their friends. I keep telling them we need to get out of these woods because they shouldn't be in the woods. It's night. It's stupid. And they won't listen to me. I offered them candy. I mean, these kids are just ridiculous. She's not Why'd you leave Bobby? Yeah, look, <laughs> we're just we're looking for our friend Bobby. Do you know where he is? Man, he's not even half bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry that your documentary film on hold now, Arch. Just chill. So, have you seen our friend Bobby? I have. You know it's you know dangerous for you guys to be out here. It's good. Did you, did you eat Bobby? What? With chocolate? Uh, he nods this direction. Follow me. Okay. Close up my knife uh, and start okay. following. Start following him. Um, as he walks a few about, I would say maybe Kids, I'm not sure we should be following this creepy man in the woods. It seems Straight like a quarter, a quarter of a mile, and then you Straight see danger. a cabin uh, in the woods. Uh, there seems to be some oh, light coming fine. from it. Yeah, we're absolutely fine. Mysterious cabin in the woods that none of us have ever. Look, yeah, I hear good. it's perfectly legal to live on state parks. Yeah, so. So I'm asking, as we're walking, you know, I'm asking the guy, so, what's your name, sir? My name's Alex. I'm a, a scout. I've been out in these woods dozens of times. Come this way. Uh, okay, is that your name, or is that just, you know, general instructions to us? Uh, at this point, he heavily footprint, or footsteps <laughs> up the stairs. That's the cabin, and it opens the door. Okay, I'm going to... I've got my flashlight out, I just kind of run it over and look inside. And... Where's everybody yeah. else at? Uh, I'm going to... Fo I'll follow him. I'm loyal. I'm not oh. going to... not going to let my friend down. <laughs> I'm not going to let my... 
charge. Can't die because getting paid to make sure he like doesn't die and stuff. It's like we're babysitting for about or something. I don't know. I replace the battery in my camera and then keep on going. <laughs> you have to like trade change those every couple of minutes. <laughs> I got plenty. <laughs> um. So you guys walk in. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Bobby's sitting there. He's eating some s'mores. Bobby. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Hey, you okay? Bobby is man bear your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who my dad is. Rude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bobby, your mommy, your mom is seriously freaking out. Okay, they had the sheriffs out there at your house and everything. It's, yeah, it's like, dude, she called the cops. It's a full-blown missing body. How long have you been out here, man? Uh, who are you talking to? Bear Man or Bobby? Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, yeah. Um, I got lost in the woods. These things attacked me. and This what guy found me and t tonight and led me here. What things attacked you? I, I, I can't see them. Every time I look, they're not there. Uh, it could be the uh, hippie cult. No way. He got attacked okay. by shadows. So, okay, like, well, I mean, your mom is, like, seriously freaking right now. We need to get you back. And then uh, the bear man's like, you can't go out there. It's dangerous. See, now we are held captive by a man wearing... I don't know. He, it looks like Red Gill. I don't Heather, know. Heather, will you shut up? Yeah, I mean, I'm not stupid like you guys. <laughs> look, all your look, fault that we're here. Heather, my parents always told me that strangers who try to give me candy are who I should look out for. And so far, you've offered me a lot more candy than this man. Yeah, so, I know who to trust. You know, so, who, what he, you know, okay, I'm offering you candy. I think he's offering you death. Okay, so... Death or candy. To, to, to the man bear. It's like, okay, so what are these things out there that you're concerned about have you heard about the hide behinds about the oh, oh, one second I pull out the recorder could you say that one more time <laughs> yeah the hide behinds no I don't think so that's something I haven't heard of they have they been on MTV yet <laughs> <laughs> He kind of looks at you blankly. Uh, Bobby offers up some s'mores to everybody. They're real. I can't describe them. They attack at night. They're called shadows. What were the s'mores cooked on? <laughs> <laughs> the flaming heap of Heather's There is screens. a... Um, like an old oven in this cabin. Yeah. Old gas oven. Or wood burning. Fire, wood burning. Wood burning. Yeah. Okay. Good All to right. know. So. <laughs> <laughs> so do they like oh, no. go away? They, so these hides behind, do they go away in the day or something? Look, you're going to stay here tonight. In the morning, you can go back to your families. Can we use, um, it's like, Heather, let, let's see if you get any reception on that phone thing of yours. I barely get reception <laughs> in town. <laughs> so bring out the phone and be like, 911. Nothing. Like, no bars. No, no, no sorry. That. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's all your fault. Your mom's gonna be so pissed off. She is going to flip her shit. Bearman goes over and just kind of tends to the fire. It's like, are we safe? You say we're safe in here? That's what he said. Okay. 
Um, I don't know, man. This is this is spooky. So, Bobby, you've only been here tonight. Yeah, I got lost. How many days were you lost? Two. Bobby, come on. Man, there he is. is Bobby missing a sneaker? Yes. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so we got your sneaker or no, we didn't pick it up. But you didn't pick it up? It's evidence. Yeah. We <laughs> thought the cops were looking for you. Yeah, look, okay, here's the thing. The cops are looking for you. They're gonna bring in the bloodhounds. Bloodhounds will send a sneaker and they'll catch your scent and lead lead everybody up here. Yeah. So I guess the question, guys, do we do we risk it here for the night, or do we make a distraction and sneak out and run back home? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I want to leave. I do not want to stay here. Do you even know how to get back, Heather? I'll figure it out. Alex, you know how to get back, right? Yeah, I, I reach into my backpack and... Yeah, I can get us back. <laughs> okay. You're a little jerk. I'm a little jerk who knows how to navigate through the woods. I should have let those bullies... At least she would have stayed in one place. Okay, so... Um... I mean, I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Should we? I mean, you know, Bobby's safe here. If we come back with Bobby, then probably all will be forgiven. Yeah. Or even if the cops show up, show up here, track all of us down to here, we can make sure that he doesn't get blamed. I'm pointing at okay. Amanda. Yeah, we still don't okay. know your name, sir. Okay. So. How about you leave me out of the woods, we'll go talk to the cops, bring the cops here. Oh, better. Right? Who are you talking to? She's talking uh, to me. Oh. Yeah. But one night out in the woods is not going to kill you. We're not yes, but your parents are going... Your parents are going to freak out. Yeah, my parents will freak out, and I'll probably get in trouble. You know, once they get the information, you know, once they find out what's going on and, you know, see that well, everyone's safe, they'll, they'll calm down. You know, I'll probably I ground you. I am going to find a way out of these woods and I'm going to go for help. Uh, and she goes By yourself? Yes. You're going to tell the cops you left five kids with a crazy bear man in his crazy cabin? Crazy guy wearing bear skin in a cabin. He just kind of glances over at you quietly and then goes back to the fire. I want to get out my keys and there's like a little teensy weensy pin light on there. <laughs> like, it probably does it. It's probably, probably good for like looking at your key. Yeah. Yeah, like five, like two feet in front of you. But that's about it. She's going to go out. I'll be back. And she. <laughs> and Heather was never heard from Somebody again. Yeah. <laughs> and there was much rejoicing. Um, Many boys cried. <laughs> so I want to. But not as much hey, as Heather would have liked. Yeah. What's that, Ted? Uh, hey, Bobby. Um, how is this guy? Like, he hasn't started like seasoning you yet or anything, has he? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's he seems fine. Hey, there, man bear. Uh, what's your name? I know Name's Bill. Bill, are Thank you going to eat us? I, like, put my hand over my my face. Yeah, my totally I'm... face bomb. <laughs> hey, these are important questions right here. <laughs> he shakes his head. <clears throat> no. Okay. Forgive my friend, but there's just a lot of rumors about you 
you know, people, you know, man, bear, whatever, um, out in the woods. So, you know, and my friends aren't out, out here as much as I am. So they're kind of a little bit freaked out, especially Heather. So, sorry about all the, you know, leaping to conclusions about you to <laughs> us, and thank you for your hospitality. Yeah, nothing personal. He offers some jerky. He looks at Ted and says, "It's not it's children." Made of people. <laughs> You know what? I wasn't even thinking about that man until you brought it up. Now I am suspicious. Uh, what's your opinion of eating uh, chocolate with meat in it? <laughs> oh, my oh my god, you guys! <laughs> Would you I'll, give I'll that a rest? I'll take the beef jerky and go sit down next to Bobby. All right. I've lost my appetite all of a sudden. <laughs> I eat my beef and jerky. All right. Do uh, I need to switch my character type to Wendigo now? <laughs> I, I really wish I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> Another show used that. I didn't want to do it. <clears throat> yep. Heather. <laughs> Yes. You're outside. I'm tropping. Yeah. Um, the further away from the cabin you get, uh -huh. you hear just the cracking in the forest around you. Yeah. It's scary because of this forest. It's stupid. And the further you get away from the cabin, the darker it gets. Yeah. I start kind of walking very quickly in the direction that I think that the, the exit to the woods is. Okay. Whether it's the right direction or not, I don't know. <laughs> I could be going in the very wrong direction. Something from behind you grabs your ankle. I scream. It seems, <laughs> it seems like Sorry, a large <laughs> a large hand. Um, it's very cold to the touch. I kick it. I okay. Kick it. Well, I'm going to roll to attack. Okay. And if you're kicking, it'll be fight. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. It continues to scream the whole entire time. All right, so I will say, since I explained how, no. um, so you're you're grabbed. How do you you said you kicked? Yeah. Response. Um. You fall. Yeah. And you are fairly hurt. Okay. Um. I scream. Maybe you sprain your ankles. Okay, it sprained my ankle. That's mm -hmm. fine. I hate sprained ankle. And oh my god! It's going to try and pull you into the darkness. I'm still <laughs> gonna try and kick at it. Try to scramble away. So the fight roll. We've heard Heather is screaming from inside the cabin, right? Yes. I'm not gonna be able to beat that. Must have been another spider web, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what you gave this monster. It has twice the die that I do. So. Yeah, but it's still only attack. It's still four to six. I know. Um. So it starts to grab. It starts to pull you. Uh, from inside it's the cabin. Just try to claw her her way away, like getting dirt under her nails and stuff, screaming. All right. So you've heard the scream. She keeps screaming. Yeah, she and she keeps screaming. So um, I 
I'm loyal. I'm like, I got to go out and see what's the matter with her. Um, I'm going to reach into my backpack for the only weapon I have. So I pull out a box of itching powder that I got in this practical joke. Yep. So, um, you know, my bud's going. I got to go with him. I think I might be able to get some more footage of these <laughs> things if I go. All right. So you guys go outside. <clears throat> yeah, yep. we'll rush outside. Um, you see Heather on the ground, and she's kind of on her stomach, and her hands are like clawing mm -hmm. at the ground, and she's being pulled into the darkness. You can't see by what. Okay. Can I well think of spider? I'll go grab her hands. Yeah, I'm looking around for you know, playing my flash, playing my flashlight around to see if I can find out what, you know, what we're supposed to be looking for. Okay. Um, I'm fairly burly actually, so I'm gonna try to grab her hands and pull. This would be the posing brawn check. Well. Oh, you exploded. Oh, I exploded. I am. Oh. I, I am. Yeah, Hawks is dead. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Hawk exploded. No. Uh, you're able to pull her free. As Alex shines the light. In that direction, you don't see anything. But you're hearing more and more footsteps. Uh, not full of the branches cracking around you. Uh, Bear Man is now standing. We gotta get out of here, kids. We gotta, we gotta get out of these woods. On the we, gotta, porch, we gotta go. Uh, with a rifle. And he's gonna start taking pot shots into the darkness. Yay. I think we gotta we gotta make it back to the house. Yeah, we can't go yeah. anywhere at night with these things around. Back yeah. to the house. The walls outside. Let's see some okay. more people jerky. I'll I'll yeah. live back with them. <laughs> I'll try to live back with them. Alright. Um, I'll 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 help Heather limp you know, limp herself back. Yeah, I'll I'll let Heather put her arm around me. Let's see. Never happened if we hadn't gone to the woods. One, two, three, four, five, six. And. Oh no. Alright, so. Um, this time, hands come out for both Hawks and um, Heather. Oh, no. Heather does look rather tasty. <laughs> How many boys have told her so? What? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's that get going. That was two hawks. A hand reaches to grab you with a five and a seven it, on Heather. Oh, that, is it fight or brawn? Um, are you trying to... It depends on what you're doing. I'm going to pull away. I'm going to, like, you know, like... That's flight. That's flight? Yes, you're running away. I'm going to try and kick it off again. I don't like it touching me. Well, that'd be flight for you. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm going to try to... It, it, did it actually grab me, or is it just reaching? No. It got me. Like, totally. It totally got me. All right, well... Um, How are you reacting? I'm in a flight to I'm avoid screaming. the one reaching for me. And, but you said five? Yes. So I actually dodge it. Somehow. But Heather is grappled again. Right. Well, on my uh, my next action, I'm going to try to pull her out with Brock. Yeah, I'm going to try to help pull him, pull Heather away also. Okay. And what's Ted doing? Uh, I feel the call to action. Uh, <laughs> I get into my backpack. I 
pull out my magazines and I roll them up into a <laughs> tight bundle like that you would mm -hmm. use to beat a dog. Right. Uh, and I run inside. <laughs> and I start the end of it on fire in the wood for uh, wood stove. Okay. And then come back out and I want to fight the darkness with my sure. flaming roll of magazines. Are you going? Are you going to just fire magic missile in the darkness? Yes. <laughs> uh, also destroying evidence so that your uh, parents won't find out about. <laughs> Hey, these magazines. Sports, these are sports magazines. Sure. <laughs> Get your eyes episodes. out of the gutter. <laughs> I keep the episodes. good stuff at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, since I know yours is fight, um, go ahead and roll your fight. Yeah. Please. And three. Since you're coming out with light, it's going to try oh. to flee to get away. Oh. Accidentally did oh. something good. It exploded. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> so, whatever you, you come down with it, and it feels like it dissipates. But it's moving oh, away from you. Yeah, uh, that's right. Who's pulling again? Me. And okay. I will once I'm free of, you know, when I dodge. Okay. Uh, what's Archie doing? Uh, trying to get a good angle. You know, they, they seem to have it under control. <laughs> I just want to make sure we have this documented. You know, no one's gonna believe this. <laughs> All right. Um. So you, okay, Hawk's already dodged out of the way, and you're reaching to grab Heather, and Alex is grabbing Heather. Right. Um, really, you'd have to assist that somehow. I mean, that's, but it's not, it's a, it's not a planned action. So I guess go ahead and both roll. Braun. Braun. Braun, yes. Okay. Yes. And Braun. Ooh, close. Eight. Okay. Um, your hand slips, Alex. Yeah. Um, but Hawks has a, a grip, and he's kind of it's she's not budging one way or the other. She's just screaming a lot. Mm. Terrific. Yeah, uh, Archie. Yes. You feel the cold grip around your your arm. Of death. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Riff Archie. I think oh. I just killed my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed my cousin. They, they don't like what being filmed without. A family without, fortune. They, they, they don't like being filmed without written permission. Right. They didn't sign a waiver. They didn't sign a waiver. Oh, boy. Okay, so what are my options here? Um, <clears throat> die or die. <laughs> you can try to run. Um, you can just sit there and take it, or Be you can play it back. Your just move that camera down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's grit. I cannot grit my way out of this. Correct. Yeah. Is that sitting there and taking it? Um, sitting there and taking it, it's brawn. It's brawn, yeah. It's brawn, okay. Uh, actually, hold on. If you want to try to intimidate it, it's a very difficult grit check. Uh, hmm. 
What am I currently? So I'm currently rolling again 34 though. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll take that grit check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so I'll try to intimidate it away using um. Let's see. Let me do this because you're gonna before I said before I attacked, asked you what you were gonna do. So mm -hmm. uh, let me turn the page here. All right, so you're doing grit. Sure. Very difficult would be, I would say a 15, because you have no okay. idea what this thing is. Uh, what's the, uh, what's ignore fears do? Oh, is that just like the fears that you create for yourself? Yes. Okay, okay, so that doesn't help me. Okay, well, I'll use all three of my adversity <laughs> tokens, and we'll try to, We'll try to grit it. Let's see. Nope. Goodbye, world. Alright. Oh, uh, no. Um, go ahead then. And it's coming at you with that attack. Okay. So. You can fight Brawn or. Fle uh, flight. I will try to fight it. Uh, we'll try to smack it off uh, before it uh, murders me. Are you smacking it with your camcorder? Or with your? No, that's precious. We gotta save this footage. <laughs> I'm gonna try to smack it with my uh, flashlight. Now we found the origin of the found footage. Hey, hey, Rob. Yes. Is there something that I can do because, you know, I'm, I'm not letting my... You're holding on to Heather. I, I'll ditch her in order to save him. <laughs> <laughs> What's, I mean, it's already there, so... Yeah, okay. A five? Got a, got a solid five. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Um, all right, I'll tell you what. Um... That's unfortunate. Because I have the option, I'm going to go with the the nicer of the two. Um, Archie goes down, uh -huh. and then he's on his back, and the cam his camera is falling out of his hand, and all of a sudden you see him being like pulled um, into the darkness slowly. Into the darkness? Yes. Now you can react. Archie, no! Okay, now I can react. Okay, yeah, I shout. I, you know, I draw up Heather like a bad habit. And yeah, well, she is a bad habit. <laughs> and I dive to grab for try to pull him back. And this does tie into my fear of failing my friends. Okay. Go ahead and give me a brawn check if you're pulling him. Uh, uh, six. Not fantastic. I'm shouting out, guys! They've got Archie! Come on! Okay. Tell the police Heather got me killed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Heather's fault. She wanted to go for the one. You're, you're holding on to Archie's uh, hand and like his forearm to kind of pull him. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, it's pulling you with him. I'm not giving up. I'm not stopping. I'm digging in. Do I mark adversity for failing that roll also? Yes. Thank and I haven't you. been tracking that either. So if you failed rolls, please <laughs> mark adversity because you'll need it. Yes. Oh, actually, I failed there. Yeah. See you there. What's what's Ted doing? Failed there. I should do it then. You you muted again? I oh, yeah I oh. muted myself to unmute <laughs> myself. It's super great. Uh, uh, with Archie. 
being consumed and uh, <laughs> Alex not far behind. I got to do something. Uh, I'm going to go over and I'm going to throw my bundle of burning magazines at the darkness. Okay. That uh, is dragging Archie under. Um, <laughs> you hear a shriek. Um, of something in pain you ever heard? It's like otherworldly. And then the brush around where we landed starts to catch on fire. Cool. Did I say <laughs> cool. Sorry. Did Archie Just... saved? Um, he's laying there, not moving. Oh man! I'm still I'm trying to pull Archie bad. and you know drag him away. Okay. What? What about Heather? Uh, no well, one I, cares about Heather. Hold on. As you pull Archie into the light of the fire, um, his shirt is like torn up, open like three large claw marks, and he has three gashes across his chest. He's bleeding. Um, he'll need oh. help. He's, he is breathing though. Yay for first aid kit in the backpack. <laughs> I mean, he but, may. This yeah. may be more than first back. aid. He'll yeah. be in the hospital. It's okay. Let's. Uh, you grab an arm. I grab an arm. Let's drag yeah. him into the cabin. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, and then we'll we have leave, Hawks uh, and uh, Heather. Yeah, what's Hawks is still holding on to Heather. You guys are in tug of war. Yeah, Heather's still trying to kick her way free. Yeah, sorry. Or I left behind. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to grab onto Heather and just pull with all my might. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Does that explode? Yeah. Yes. <coughs> that was and I brawn. assume I'm, I'm, I'm rolling brawn as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, I didn't do that well. Yeah, you're you're going off into the other direction, uh, into the shadows. Ah, uh, crud. You keep fighting and fighting, and it's just both of you. It's got a tight grip. She's up. screaming. Now she's screaming about how she told them that they should go into the woods, that she was right, and Candy would be so much better, and how she's going to die. It's going to be all your fault. <laughs> right. You're going to hell. I am going to... Uh, I would like to... I'm going to uh, reach in... So, like, I have this box of itching powder hand. And I'm just gonna toss it all over this thing, <laughs> like okay. the whole box. It's all I got. It's not great, but it's all I got. What's that made of? I don't know. I ordered it out of the back of a comic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Okay, this one. It's not going to do what I think it's going to do. Um, it doesn't do anything. Darn comic book crap. <laughs> Famous last word. Um, all right, we'll do one more roll. You guys are going inside the cabin with Archie? Yeah. Yeah. I got to get him medical attention. Okay. Um, no. Nope. Old brains. Both of us. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> not you. Um, yeah. Not yeah. Yeah, and I'm pulling it. You know, I'm pulling off my uh, shirt and just kind of looking at it wistfully for a bit, and then just start. I tear it to make you know some type of strip bandage for him. Okay. Okay. Help bind with, uh, bind it up and back with my um, Scott neckerchief. And 
and your role? My role is, you know what? I'm going to spend two adversity, so that's going to be plus two on that. Sixteen. Um, you two together can stabilize Archie. Awesome. And I'll leave it to Archie if he's conscious or... Um, we'll say he's, he's semi-conscious. He's kind of just like, Uh, pain! Did someone save my camera? Did someone save my camera? <laughs> Um, Bear Man goes over to a, a cabinet and pulls out another box and takes out a syringe and sticks you with it, Archie. He looks at, at Ted and Alex and says, oh no, this, this is where it goes bad. This will take care of his pain. And that's how my drug addiction started. <laughs> 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 All right, so outside. Things are uh -huh. not going well. And Bear Man rushes outside too after he does that. Yeah. He picks up like um, a big stick and he wraps um, cloth around it kind of noticing what Ted did <clears throat> and goes outside. So, Heather and Hawks. That's me. One more time. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll that with two adversary tokens. Using what? So I'm lucky. Lucky. Okay. Alright. Um... I am going to, I think I've heard enough to, I'm going to take my flashlight and just shine it like all over Heather as I pull. Um, do you have an adversity token? I do. I have several. Uh -huh. Actually, I have more. I, in fact, since I blew that last roll, you I have more than to I it, that's, That'll aid you in your roll. All right, so Ooh. I'm going to spend two adversity token mm -hmm. uh, and give myself a plus two. Is it uh, still brawn? Yes. Well, hey. Okay. Um, so the same time, Heather kind of, when the flashlight goes around, it dissipates the shadow and you're pulling and she's able to free herself with her foot. Yay! And this time, Bear Man's out there with the fire. Um, he's kind of trying to kick away some of the brush around the cabin um, to where some of the leaves he can light in a circle mm -hmm. around the cabin to, to protect... Uh, them for coming in. So what do you guys do? I'm gonna hobble towards and towards the cabin. Okay. I I'm gonna help her and then I'll go back out and help Bear. No, he doesn't go inside. Uh, okay. Sure thing. Whatever you say. Don't have to tell me twice, man. <clears throat> so what are you guys doing inside? I'm going to have a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> Solid plan of action. Yeah, I'm just making sure Archie's stabilized and okay. Uh, like, what the hell were those things, man? Heather's like hysterically crying, like she is makeup running down her face. She's totally not pretty. She's still pretty, but she looks like a hot mess. She's a hot mess. Uh, too young to die. Why, why are those things? Um, from outside the cabin, you hear a a blood curling 
scream from what sounds like Bear Man. Oh heck. <laughs> Okay. Poor Bill. <laughs> okay. Um, Is there a window to peek through? Yeah. I'll peek through a window. Do you see uh, him being carried off to the darkness? Okay. He didn't uh, finish the circle. It's like half. Wood burning. Uh, there's a wood help him, guys. Stove. Yeah, there's a wood burning stove, right? Yes. Okay. There's still logs in there that are, mm -hmm. might be on fire. Or... Yeah. Okay. Um, he had just put them in before. You can gather that okay. they're before yeah. you guys arrived. He probably put them in. Yeah. Try to grab and um, pull it out and charge out there. Ah! With the you know. Alex flaming... is trying to go outside. What are you guys doing? Don't go outside! Uh, uh, we gotta help Bill. Yeah, we can't, you know, we learned clearly from the first time that this is a safe and appropriate action. So yeah, I'm I'm going out too. I'm gonna grab something flammable and light it on fire and run out there. <laughs> right. I'm gonna say, fine, if you're going out, I'll have something to give you. Is and there a... Uh, like a I'm, fire I'm, poker or something? I'm going to offer one of the kids a lighter and a bottle of hairspray. There's a, there's that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. I'll take the, the lighter and the hairspray. I want them back if you have time. All right, so you guys are going to stand your ground or you're going to try to go back to town? Um, well, the cabin seemed to be, I mean, they haven't come in the cabin yet, right? No. Yet. I said yet. I'm sorry. Um, uh, can we, I, maybe we can hold, like, do what he said and hold, hold up here until, um, morning. Yeah. Save Bill. Come back inside and. Hopefully the uh, smoke will attract help. Yep. So you're going to go save Bill and come back. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Since it's That's the plan. 10:45, we're gonna just hand wave this stuff. This stuff. The ending. Um, cool. Uh, high or low? Gotta go low. Everybody get that? Yep. Yeah, sure. Uh, fine. It's what we've been rolling. <laughs> yep. Low, you win. Um, high, we all die. Yeah, sure. We're all on the back of smoke curtain. Nope, well, that's oh. high. <laughs> we all die! It does not go well. Jeez. Jeez. Stupid Heather. You killed us all. It's not my fault. Yes, it is. <laughs> it literally is all your fault. It is literally not my fault. It wasn't my idea to go to the wall. Man, this really did become Blair Witch. Yep. It sure did. All right. <laughs> so and, and like this uh... Our ghosts now haunt, haunt this part of the woods, and we <laughs> argue about whether or not it's Heather's fault. That's, we, they hear in the woods, it's like people will be walking in the section of the woods. Heather, it's all your fault. It is totally not my fault. I said not to go to the woods. And just before the end, as, as Hawk is regretting uh, not failing to keep the gang together, uh, Hawk thinks of the perfect funny thing to say and looks around and realizes there's no one else left alive to hear it. And, it's like, uh, and he's like, crap, and dies. <laughs> Stupid Heather. <laughs> that's great. And that's why they can't sell a story, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I hope you guys had fun. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all great one shot should end in TPK. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. Greg would uh, be sad that he's not here. He's been trying all season to get a character killed. Yeah. Yeah. I need uh, a keyword. Keyword. TPK, yeah. of course. Well, yeah. That's no, it right no. there. Keyword. Keyword, damn it, Heather. No, I guess it's fine. Heather. Okay.
so I can get this going. So what do you guys think about the system? I really like it. Good. Yeah. It's a fun little system. Uh, yeah. You know, I've had the book on my shelf for quite a while and I haven't done shit with it. So uh, after it's, it's, this, I might something. have to... Yeah. Yeah, I might have to dig it out and uh, maybe run a game for one crit sometime. Do you have the deluxe version? Uh, no, okay. I don't think so. I've just got the paperback. Okay. Regular. Well, it has some really good uh, adventure um, ideas in, in that one. But anyway, uh, yeah, I like the system. It can get kind of tense. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, also, chat, I did put TPK uh, for the giveaway. If you want to enter to win a copy of Kids on Bikes, uh -huh. just type in TPK. Do you think that they found the footage? That like, this is really the first, first found footage movie? I hope so. I mean,. You did drop the camera outside yeah. of the yeah. fire. As long as it didn't catch on fire, it would still be there. Even you know, if it did catch on fire, my then, idea. Like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You were the inspiration. Yep. <laughs> you were the inspiration for Blair Witch. That camera's all like black and white, isn't it? It's like really strange. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's also pretty awful, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Blair so Witch is on there. <laughs> Blair Witch is scary because to me anyway because I don't really enjoy being out in the woods. You know, I'm a city kid, but um I mean, it isn't great. In my in my humble opinion. Well, I don't mind it. That's all right. There's some good images in it, but mm -hmm. you know, but it's also a it's a bunch. Of, it's some good images that you arrive at through, you know, many minutes of young people bickering with each other. So yeah, you threw away the map. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's it's kind of dated now, and it's um. But uh, it's really neat if you ever look into like the behind the scenes stuff, just like how they were shooting things or how much of it is because uh... they had like no direction. They would just leave the actors little notes and other notes. things. Yeah, I mean, a certain amount of the actors is freaking out is genuine. You know, is not. Um, you know, it's not acting. You know, they're they're genuinely weirded out by the the stuff that they leave for these guys, or that they got. You know stuff they got left for them. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I guess no one's entering this contest. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Who is on right now that we can do a raid? Um, I'm going to raid my bed. Yep. <laughs> well, hang on. I got to do this real quick for you. The RPG geeks, they're up. RPG geeks? Uh, yeah, the RPG... The RP geeks. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Alright, so everybody, um... Glad you enjoyed it, and uh, this is it for one shot. We'll start doing them intermittently uh, between mini breaks for other things. Um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, okay. very much. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you. Hope and you guys want to like it out there. Check out uh, Defenders of Cobalt sometime. They have some uh, entertaining games sure running. Do. <laughs> uh, come by Friday. We're kicking off as Y Hander, so it'll be good nice. stuff. All right. And uh, Monday we will have a installment of Here Incorporated. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Vixen will even be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so, Rob. Uh, yeah. All Thanks right. for playing, and uh, see you guys next time. All right. Good night, everyone.